Okay. Anti Medu. These bitches. Um. Will do that. Like. Ow. They will also spear you with a trident and kill you. Okay, that happened. Alright, we seriously need to find a spring. And also we need to keep our distance because we're a range fighter. Anyway, anti medus that little energy ball they um, send your way will freeze you. Uh, and then they will come in and they will spear you repeatedly until either it wears off or you drop dead. Uh, generally it will be the second, but if you haven't been keeping yourself nice and healthy, don't be surprised if you get offed by those guys. They will... They are not friendly. They are not that difficult. I certainly wouldn't call them hard to deal with. Unless you have next to no health like I did and get insta-killed by them. But, uh... The... Uh, balls. How, what was I saying? The second game, that's what I was getting at. They are probably the hardest enemies in the second game because they will hit you with an enhanced version of Freeze, which is Petrify. Uh, it's the exact same thing, but instead of lasting maybe 5, 10 seconds, it lasts up to 30 or 45 seconds. It goes on for a long time, and you are, unless you heal it, or the enemy AI shits the bed and they like walk away. Uh, you are half past fucked. You are going to get killed. Uh, unfortunately, there is a recovery item for it. Ooh, pumped with energy. There is a recovery item for it, so you can uh, find that lying around, or you can buy it and not have to worry about it. But it doesn't change the fact that. That is a very, very, very bad uh, status effect. Oh, it was just one of you. I thought I saw an atla. I probably... Do I see something? Yeah, I see something. Oh no, it's this bag of monies. Where is it? No! Uh, oh, it's that chest that's faded against the... No? Where? Oh, yeah, it's right here. I wasn't far. Yeah, Mimic. Yeah, the second game does introduce a lot of status effects, but most of them are just new versions of the same ones. Oh, fuck you. Well, we're almost done here. Uh, we're on floor 13. We have to get to 17 before we're done. So, we have four floors remaining. Um... And then it's just going to be georama rification and... What the fuck kind of word was that? Uh, it's just going to be Georama and uh, story completion. And getting our prize for 100%ing the village. And then we're done. So, hooray! And that's the point where it's going to switch to the old recording, which has slightly worse... Um, audio mixing because I did it all like on the same program. I use open broadcaster software and audacity as of this recording which is why I was able to bleep stuff out during the uh, Dran battle because well the, the whole reason I did that was just because I was playing with the uh, tools and audacity and I learned how to uh, beep out audio so I figured I was swearing a lot in that one, so let's have some fun and beef out all of it. So that explains why I did that. And at least it was something fun to do, considering that fight just pissed me off to no end. Why am I even fighting these fuckers? Um, I got the key, so there's no sense in trying to take them down. I have all the Atla, so let's piss off and go to the next floor. I'm getting tired. You're yawning right now. 
Yeah, today's been... I, I, I wanted to get this done a lot earlier today. It's like 6, 7 o'clock at night right now. I'm an early to bed, early to rise uh, kind of person. I, I like to be up at 5 a.m. I'm 22 years old and I like to get up at 5 in the morning. I'm turning into an old man very, very quickly. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Well, I'm just going to say that it's a good thing because it shows maturity. But on the other hand, it makes me very lazy. <laughs> like, oh fuck. I just, I don't like knights. Anyway, Mask of Prajna, or Prajna, however you pronounce it. I'm just going to say Prajna because that doesn't sound as uh, silly. They will spin their fans every time you attack. So you generally aren't going to get more than one shot off unless you um, use a melee combo. Oh, for fuck's sake! Stop blocking! You are not a Master Jacket. I have a Throbbing Cherry, though. Um, they will start blocking as soon as you hit them unless you can stun lock them with a melee combo. So, um, it's actually rec another enemy that it's recommended that you use melee, but it really doesn't have any sin significant advantages. It's just a quicker fight. Yeah, don't, don't freeze me, bro. Come on, die. There you go. Okay, so we can level it up. Uh... Oh, hi! Nice! Uh, times two slots. Uh, these give double the effect of the stuff. Whatever, uh, element, or whatever attachment you stick in it, gets double the power. Like, watch this. We're gonna get plus 20 ice off of this. Ding! Jesus. Uh, very, very handy. In fact, let's stick that on just because we can. Get maximum effect out of it. Uh, what other things does it raise? Just those three. But we get a huge boost to... S Whoops. Uh, I don't know if I needed to do that. Oh, that wasn't a level up. Never mind, I thought we had leveled up. I didn't read the thing, but it just came up at the right time. I think it was a uh, you need to fix your shit uh, mess or message. I'm stumbling on my own words today. What is new? Because well, I'm always stumbling on my own words. Uh, my speaking skills are not that great. Especially when I have to talk non-stop for an hour and a half. So, yay. Hopefully I can get better at that quickly. Because I, I'd like to not sound like a stuttering jackass. Um, it, because I, I'd hate to sound like that when uh, it comes time to begin teaching. You know, because that is the goal. Uh, the reason I'm here in college. Ow. You are against a wall. That is an unfortunate situation for you. And a very fortunate one for me. Uh, yeah, I'd like to get better at my speaking before I start teaching, even though I'll probably be in my 30s by the time I start teaching. So... I have plenty of time. I'll probably have a million subscribers on my YouTube channel before... Uh... Before that time comes. That's... that. But even that's wishful thinking. I sincerely doubt it. Ding! Uh, nothing to say, going into a lull now, ow! Open this Atla, what do we got? Something good? A torch! Alright, back away. Yeah, Die! Yeah! I'm getting used to not locking on, uh, I've noticed. It generally is better to lock on just for the sake of 
What was I going to upgrade? <laughs> the dot, the bottom route. Screw that. Um, it generally is better for you to lock on, but if you need to be faster, then locking on is only going to undermine that. Like I've, I discovered during these last two playthroughs, that locking onto everything can be. Uh, bad idea at times, but uh, there are plenty of opportunities for the non-lock-on, just run around and hit stuff uh, approach to actually do some good. Because, as you've noticed, when enemies are trying to run away from you, being able to pop up the Dran Feather and uh, go nuts is often uh, the best way to handle things. Uh... Oh, no, 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 we don't want to do that. That will get us killed. Uh... Did we get any... No, we didn't get any healing items. Let's just use someone else. Ah! Yeah, uh, you're not really going to be able to hit that... Hit, um... The mass surprise enough from a distance, because they will start blocking immediately. Fuck you! <laughs> Okay, so we have two Throbbing Cherries and two Cases of Poison. Alright, so let's just wait this out. 